Videotape, we're in big trouble. Be cool, Mr. Maurice. Bopper? Oh, this is ridiculous. Huh? I'm sorry about that, Mr. Maurice. Why did I ever get mixed up with this crazy TV station? It's nothing but problems. Kids were due back an hour ago with the rock video for tonight's show, and I'm talking business with an overdressed chicken. Sarah, if we don't have anything to put on the air, we'll lose our ratings. Wolfman will leave us. Mr. Morris will kill us. Ricardo, calm down. It's only a little setback. I'll come up with something. We gotta hit it. The Wolf Rock News is on in three minutes. <laughs> It's about time. Hey, what's shaking, Mr. Morris? I am. Where's the new video, Sarah? Another station got it. Oh, no, but, but, but how? I guess they caught us napping. You snooze, you lose. Ah, we have nothing for tonight's show. My life savings down the drain. We've got to get on the air in 30 seconds with the Wolf Rock News. Stand by. 15 seconds to air. Ah! Ah! Any sign of Wolfman? Uh, uh, I can feel him. I just can't see him, as usual. Boys. Five seconds. Four. Three. Two. Turner is hot on the charts this week with What's Love Got to Do With It? It's Tina's biggest hit ever, but it's not her first hit. Do you know who was president of the United States when Tina Turner had her very first hit record? You got five seconds. You ready? The answer is Dwight D. Eisenhower. And Tina's first hit on the charts in August 1960 was A Fool in Love. Since then, there have been six more presidents of the USA, and Tina is still having hit records. Tony Hadley, lead singer for the Spandau Ballet, says his earliest musical influences were the Jackson Five, Freddie Mercury of Queen, and Frank Sinatra. He says the Sinatra influence should be obvious to anyone who's heard the Spandau Ballet sing their big hit, True. So true. Funny how it seems, always in time, but never in line for dreams. One of the hottest records on the charts right now is The Warrior by Patti Smythe and Scandal. Patti grew up listening to music in clubs run by her mother in Greenwich Village, New York City. And here's Patti to tell us what her musical influences were. I learned to sing by singing with Marvin Gaye and Tammy Terrell, you know, I mean, that was when I was, you know, seriously singing at the top of my lungs, but, uh, Frank Sinatra and, you know, records when I was really little, I guess those influenced me too. Well, that's the way it is for Wolf Rock News. And this is your reporter, Wolfman Jack, saying bye. How goes it, my main team? We've got a big problem, Wolfman. Another station scooped us on the video for tonight's show. 
Well, let's scoop it right back, Jack. How do we do that, Wolfman? Hey, I know. We can make our own rock video. Red on, Ricky. Maybe they could do it. Nah. Wolfman, did you see this? You know, it would be great to film the opening of the Rock and Roll Museum. The only problem is the press can't get in. Bill track to the owner. He's a friend of the old Wolfman's, I tell you. Well, you know what you have to do. Covering the opening would be a great scoop. And super for Wolf Rock. A super scooper, huh, Sonny? No sooner said than done. Maestro, if you please. Hello, Tractor Records. This is the Wolfman. Let's let me uh, rap with the press I death. <laughs> Oh, that was me best solo ever. Right. Now how are we going to make any money? You wrecked everything. Stay cool, dude. I read in the paper where there are tons of instruments just for the taking. Hi, fans. Today we're at the grand opening of the new Rock and Roll Museum. Join me for an exclusive Wolf Rock sneak peek. Give me a boost. I'm with Mr. Bill Tractor, famed record producer and founder of the Rock and Roll Museum. Bill, can you tell us about the exhibits? Well, we have a unique collection of giant instruments, the only one of its kind in the world. And here behind us is Maybelline. It was the king's all-time favorite guitar. Cut! <laughs> Miss, are you okay? What happened? I'm just totally maxed out on the king. I have all of his records. Really? The early ones are real collector's items. I know. I have, like, every single one of them. Wolfman was right. You kids are real fans. Now that's what I like to see. The burglar alarms are in there. Got it. Okay, now give me a shot of the drum kit. It's almost time for the preview. I'd better cue the studio. Wolfman, are you ready with the previews? I'm going with the flow and getting on with the show. Great! Hey, what are those dudes doing? Uh, they probably gate crashes, you know. But listen, never mind. We, we gotta get this show on the road. I love it! You ain't sure it, Wolfman! <laughs> <laughs> this is your Wolfman! And it's time to get down and party, hearty, with the music review. Okay, only one more wire. Oh. <laughs> they shot us. I, I'm, I'm too young to... Not you. A TV crew, they got us on tape. Now we'll have to snatch the tape before we swipe the instruments. This museum story will be fantastic when we finish editing it. Hold it. Rewind the tape. I want to see this close up. What are those guys doing? Hey, back it up. Let's see it again. Hey, who turned out the light? I can't I can't I can't What happened? Is everyone okay? Having a party without your wolf man? The tape is gone! Yeah! Stand in line now, cause it's one at a time. We were editing the museum story for tonight's show. We noticed these two guys sneaking around on the tape. And then poof! The lights went out! And now the tape for tonight's show is gone! What? Nothing to show tonight? <laughs> 
I can see it all now. I know where to begin my prowl. Don't worry, Mr. Morris. But I am worried. <laughs> Where did he go? Oh, Ricardo, don't you know? Where there's a wolf, there's a way. Anyway, I know where we're going. Come on! Wait, where are you going? To the museum to find some clues. Nobody's here. Huh? A good thing, too. I was ready for those clowns. <laughs> Someone's inside. Let's check it out. Uh, I'll stay here and hold down the fort. Whoa. We're gonna make big bucks with this guitar. Hey, how about me new drums? Next on the list. Oh, no! Maybelline's gone! Come on, let's find those two creeps. Hold it right there, you slime. You guys, let's get out of here. Uh, I'll cover the rear, in case they double back. <laughs> Who are those kids? <sighs> They're the ones from the TV station. Well, why are we running from a couple of girls? Hey, we're not running anymore. Yeah? You and what army? We're not falling for that old trick. You'll never get away with this. Oh, uh, yeah? Watch us. <laughs> Those pigeons is cruising for a bruising. Uh, I was going to save you, but, but but hurry! They're getting away. I got it. Mr. Tractor, I saved Maybelline. Thanks, Sonny. And thanks to Mr. Morris's call, we got here in the nick of time. This is priceless. How can I ever repay you? Wolfman, the tapes are destroyed. You gave it your best shot, Sarah. Now, uh, you can't do better than that. Bill, I have an idea. Fifteen seconds. Uh, how are we going to go on the air with no tape? Wolfman is supposed to be here. Five seconds. Three, two... Keep a stiff of a lip, cause here come Mr. Hip, the wolf man. Wolf Rock TV. Hi, thanks for calling. Hello, Wolf Rock TV. Well, it looks like we got a big hit here. Where's Bopper? I guess they walked out at the end of the show. Uh. Gee, I could have been great. Cheer up. You're our star. Bopper, how about a howl from 